Yes, please. Water, okay, again, like the first time, we've got left and right. Uh, we'll open it, open it up. You don't, no, you can take yours off. Uh, open it up for questions on left side. Zach Osterman, go ahead. Thank you. Trace, uh, I know you guys really wanted the Bahamas, maybe not just X's and O's wise, but team chemistry, just a, a chance to get away, and just kind of be only the team, only the guys. I mean, do you see, how much do you see maybe the benefits of that as you start to gear up for maybe the more normal parts of preseason, if you want to say? Um, it was huge for us, honestly. Not just um, for the chemistry reasons, but obviously getting on the court together for the first time. Us as a group, we've never played together, especially with all the talent and transfers and everyone that's came in. So it was good for us to get on the court together and then off the court, just bonding. I mean, we were here together all summer, so um, we already had that brotherhood off the court, but just making it stronger for us. He's got it over here. George, go ahead. Oh, Trace, talk a little bit about, about um, flight, flight plan in the Bahamas. Most of, your, most of your shots and most of your baskets were in close. Talk a bit about how Mike wants you to shoot some more perimeter shots. Talk a little bit about how much you practice this during the summer and, and how much this team needs your shooting out there. Um, obviously, um, I just took with the defense game in the Bahamas, really. Um, but at the same time, he wants me to shoot the ball whenever I'm open. I'm in the gym every night working on my jump shots, so, um, especially with this guy right here. So he can tell you, he can see what I'm doing. But, um, I'm just going to take what the defense gives me. If I know I can score, I will inside, then there's no reason to go away from that. But if, if they're going to give me the jumper, I'm going to let it fly. Right, so then, then you give us an honest assessment of each other. He's honestly one of the better, one of the best shooters on the team. Like, I, I, you know, we've been working at it, like just the, the simple parts of it, you know, just following through, uh, you know, but just getting the reps in. That's what it's really about. That's what it's been about for us. And, you know, just over time, the jump shot has gotten a lot better. And he's gotten a lot of comfortable shooting it, so uh, you should expect to see him uh, getting a lot of jumpers up this year. Tom. Tony, uh, you're obviously one of the new guys here. But, uh, talk a little bit about just how the interaction has been with your 12 teammates and trying to get comfortable with them both on and off the court and, and, and how all that's gone so far. Well, we, we've tried to like just have a family atmosphere like around the whole entire program. And Coach Wilson has led that, and he's done a great job. You know, we, we kind of just, we, he's, he, did, he did a good job of getting a good group of guys together. So it hasn't been an issue for us to just, you know, bond off the court. You know, we were all really close. We all spend time together, you know, every day. So, you know, just you know, coming together as a group hasn't been a problem for us at all. Like we, this is a team where we all like each other. So, you know, we, and it, it, it is a show on the court. Mike. Hey, Tamara. Um, how is Mike Woodson as a coach? What have you learned about him so far in these few months? And what is it about maybe his offense that might be a good fit for you, what you kind of bring to the table? We're starting the back end with the offense. Um, I mean, he really just wants us to have great spacing, you know, to where everybody can operate and, you know, play their strengths. Uh, you know, he, and, he, and, and knowing everybody's strengths, he puts us all in the right positions to be, a, to be successful. But, you know, as a coach, you know, he's just a great person, uh, you know, to, just the building relationships part is probably the most important thing to him, you know. And you know, making sure that he's growing us as men every day and then, you know, on the floor, you know, we just wanna try and, you know, outthink our opponents and, you know, test ourselves mentally because obviously we have the we all have the physical attributes but, you know, we wanna be able to think the game and, and you know, uh, stay locked in for long periods of time. So, you know, we we just been following his lead and you know, and everything that he preaches and you know, everything that works for him in the NBA, you know, it's, we don't see why it can't work here. Dustin. Nick, you had a lot of questions about the jump shot. How about the right hand? That's the other thing that you've been you know, sort of trying to focus on. And how's that coming along? And what are you doing to make that better? What's, what's kind of the, how you focus on that? Um, obviously, just repetition for real. Um, um, exactly. I'm in the gym, jump working on my jump shot. I was working on right hand. And I was working on hooks, um, counters for my left hand. So just basic stuff like that. Cool. So I'm going to ask you a similar question that was asked tomorrow about, you know, just adjusting to Coach Woodson because obviously he's a new coach from last year. And then just him, you know, you talked earlier about pointing to the banners, the standard uh, that he wants you guys to set. How much does that kind of hammer home in terms of how you work out every day and, and, and what, what the expectations are? Uh, most definitely. Um, coach Woodson, um, him coming in from the very beginning, there was no, no, like, 
bad anything. He was perfect. And the transition was so smooth. Um, he came in and um, he really just brought almost like a, a positive vibe right from the get go. And he convinced me to stay like 10 minutes. So that was that. And then we got Talon coming in and the um, uh, tra transfers, yeah. Couldn't find a word, but we got the transfers. And then um, with the culture, um, before practice every day, we huddle up and we look at the banners. We look at the Big Ten Championship, and then we look at the uh, five titles. And he says, that's our goal. We're going to start with the Big Ten Championship, and that's our goal from day one. And every practice, we're going to build on, and that's that's what we're going to do. So, Mike? Yeah, Trace, how much more enlightened do you, or empowered do you feel as a student athlete now versus maybe even just two years ago with the name of image and likeness and everything else that's changing for student athletes? How, how, how much different is that and how much more empowered do you feel? Um, it is different. Um, it's hard to keep track of all of it. Um, but at the same time, I think it's really cool. I think um, it's a long overdue, long overdue for um, especially other athletes that didn't get the opportunity before me. Um, but at the same time, I think me and my teammates are going to take advantage of it, and um, especially at this pristine university and um, just the knowledge, of, especially with basketball and how far it goes back. Um, I think it's going to be good for all, me and my teammates and for um, Hoosiers in the future. So, go ahead, Ryan. Trace, uh, yeah, you did talk in the spring, kind of right after Mike got hired, about how there was a positive mood around the team. Talked after the Bahamas about how much fun you guys were having. Just how much fun is this team having, and what is the mood around the team right now? Oh, honestly, I, I think this team is probably um, by far right now is probably my favorite team that I've been on. Um, I'm not saying there's any bad blow with any of the other guys, but um, it's just it's different. Um, I think like. My, in the last few years that I was here, like we had little groups that everyone would hang out with, but now it's just our whole team. We, we go to places, we eat places together, we do things as a team, like it's, it's a full-oriented team, and I think that's really good for us, so. Lou. Uh, for both of you guys, um, do you feel like you're here at the right time, that there's change in the wind in a good way, that you feel excitement around town, on campus, about what you guys can accomplish, and is it translating to uh, practices on the court? Yes, uh, I mean, I'm like just like with my story, just how I was originally committed to Texas, and you know how I just ended up here. Like I feel like it was just all in the in my plan to end up at Indiana. So I definitely feel like I'm here at the right time. You know, being like the first wave of players and like the first team that Coach Wilson has under him at Indiana. Um, you know, so. And in practice, you know, we compete, we get after it. But, you know, like Trey said, you know, Coach Wilson just brings a positive vibe every day. And, you know, with that, we, and the respect that we have for him, it just makes us want to play harder for him. So, you know, we, you know, we go out there, you know, it's like we, we're playing to win. Uh, I agree with what he says, especially the practice aspect. You got 12 guys on the team that are really almost interchangeable. Any of them can start. So when you're doing that in 25 on five every day against that person, then really helps you get better. And then with Coach Woodson and the vibe around campus, I really think that um, people are actually excited, like really excited. And I can't say that it's been like that in years past. So, Tristan, when you when you look up and down this roster, I mean, obviously you have people like freshmen like Tamar and the, the transfer you brought in. What excites you most about the the potential that this roster has? Um, I think just every there's. Every person has something that they can bring to our team. Um, Tamora brings energy. Uh, he brings almost a goofiness to him. Um, Miller can shoot the ball, shoot the ball really well. Uh, Parker can shoot the ball really well. X is great with the ball, can pass the ball really well. Rob, you've seen what Rob can do on the floor. Same with Race and the guys that we've had here. Mike is also someone that can stretch the floor. And he's a big body that can bang inside. I mean, we got components and we got pieces everywhere. So. Um, I really just think that everyone is going to have a vital impact on our team. And it might not be the first game, it might not be, it's going to be any time. And that's one thing that Coach Woodson always says. He says, when your name is called, you better be ready because you're going to play and you're going to get in there. So you've got to be ready to play. So that's a big thing for us. Okay, last question, Grace. Um, Trace, you talked about how Coach Woodson got you to stay within a 10 minute conversation. Was that the deciding factor? And take me through how that conversation changed your mindset. Um, yeah, so um, when he first got in, I really didn't, I knew I knew the history of Indiana basketball, but I didn't, I didn't really know it. I, I wasn't, it wasn't a huge culture thing. 
with me in my first two years as it is now. I'm like seeing it, the people that he brings around and stuff of that nature. But um, when we first had our conversation, um, it was just me and him at first, and then, um, then he brought my dad down. And I was already kind of convinced to stay, but my dad is someone I lean on for really big decisions. So, um, so he talked to him, and then it was within the first five minutes, he already knew that what we wanted to do. So it was basically, it was quick. Um, he told me that he was going to help expand my game, and obviously when you're talking to someone that's been in the NBA for longer than you've been alive, I mean, I don't really know how you can say no to that. So um, it was a pretty, pretty fairly simple decision, but I'm glad I made it because I feel like it's going to benefit me the most. All right, guys, thank you. We'll bring in our second group right now.